Well, it's now time for my uh, guest, um, second guest, uh, and I'm going to say, I, I've got to say the album's terrific, and I'm going to say very good uh, evening to Hannah, who's from Burning Grace. How are you? Hi, John. Thank you so much for those kind words on the album as well. Oh, it's it's a lovely album. I had a really, I have had a listen to it, and uh, then I thought, oh, I'll play another song as well, because... I hate having someone on saying, hello, how are you? Good, thank you, goodbye. It doesn't really work, and the audience doesn't get to hear a bit about the artist. First, I'm going to have to ask you, who is Burning Grace, Hannah? Who are you? Yeah, so I guess, you know, people think my name's Grace, and I I don't blame them, but um, I am a singer-songwriter from Melbourne, and I kind of take a lot of influence from early 70s uh, artists and songwriters, from that generation and I dip into all sorts of genres like alt pop mainly but alt rock as well as a little bit of alt country with a, a couple of the songs on the album and um yeah so I just I have a fantastic team of people working with me who worked on the album that was Lee Bradshaw um Jeremy Shua and uh incredible musicians who played across the album Jerry Pantese, Craig Newman, Jerry um Brett Gar said as well, so incredible, incredible musicians across the album. I love that I'm just dipping that into there as well as <laughs> who I am. But oh, that's cool. Mention them as well. Of course, they, yeah, yeah, you, you can't do the, you, you can't just do things by yourself. 100. percent What is the that's album what, called? The album is called "The Woman in the Mirror." Right, that's a beautiful, mm. beautiful name for a song as well, and. Uh, we're going to have a listen to it, but you're going to have to tell us a bit about the song and did it inspire the album or does the album, do you just thought that's the nice name for the album? Oh, that's a good question. Someone knows asked me that. Um, so The Woman in the Mirror came after, like the title came after the fact that that song was written and we just felt, I just felt that that song encompassed a lot of um, the themes across the album, which was kind of regaining a sense of myself and awakening within myself. And um, I think no matter what gender you are or whatever you identify as, I think that kind of recognition of the person in the mirror is a really strong theme and something that's really relatable. And I felt like it was really important to have that as the title of the album. Okay, well, let's have a listen to it. We'll come back and chat some more. This is my guest. Uh, the boob is called Burning Grace, and here it is on Connect 100.9. Stepping out of the shower Feeling my body become cool The only thing i felt in months Clinging to the physical And my lights are torn
This is Connect FM, and we are reeling in the years. My guest, well, I'm going to get her to tell you who she is. My guest is... Burning Grace. There we go. <laughs> and uh, that's the title track off the album called The Woman in the Mirror. It is a beautiful song. You've got a lovely voice. It's very haunting. Oh, thank you. That's actually, that's in my bio, so you can... <laughs> Is it? I like that. Thank you. Oh. Um, yeah, that song definitely is probably the most spacious, um, stripped back song across the album, on the album. So if there are songs that you want to have a little bit more something, something, you can check out all the other songs as well. And there's something in there for, I think, a lot of different types of people and genres in there. Great. Well, we're, we're going to play now the current single, Electric. And can you tell us about that one? Yeah, so it has the same mammoth musicians that I mentioned earlier who play across the track, produced by Lee Bradshaw. Um, so it has a beautiful new master just glistening over the top of it. It's a song about letting go of personal blockages and reclaiming my sensuality, feeling free and feeling really connected within myself after having a really kind of electric night out with my girls. So, yeah, that's electric. Okay, here it is, Connect 100.9.
Air Drilling in the Years here with John Deering and Matt's Burning Grace and the song called Electric. And uh, she's still with me. Beautiful song uh, and good luck with it as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, if people want to find out a bit more about you on social media, where should they be looking? Honestly, I'm everywhere, John. I'm everywhere. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Spotify, Apple Music. You can stream it anywhere. Um, If you would like to uh, know about the shows that I'm doing, you can absolutely go on all my social media and uh, uh, anywhere that you choose, you'll know about the shows that I'm doing. Um, If you'd like to support the album, and um, yeah, you can actually go to bandcamp.com and you can actually buy the digital copy of the album and it's yours to keep. So those are the platforms. I also have a website as well to check in and see what's new. All right. Well, mate, thank you so much for joining us here on Connect FM in Sydney. It's been lovely chatting. Thank you so much, John. Thanks. You're welcome.